Hey, Bloomies. So, if the phone is a little shaky, um, I'm out here walking. I'm walking the track. We are currently at the park, and uh, and I just kind of wanted to get on here and do a bit of speaking. So, you know, I just kept telling myself like. One side of me was saying, you know, wait on the perfect time. And the other side of me was like, girl, you don't have a perfect time. Like you better, if you got something to say, <laughs> you better like say it, you know? And I have been fighting myself on um, being a perfectionist. You know, like waiting on that right time, like, and it never comes, right? I realized that I am a thinker. Like I think a lot and I have like billion dollar ideas, trillion dollar ideas, but because of lack of action or very little action. And if I do like try something and it's, it doesn't go the way that I had hoped that it goes, like I will, like ease up off the pedal, you know, instead of like steaming right through. That's something that I'm like working on. But yeah, like I'm getting out of being a perfectionist because it's not like serving me. Um, instead of like putting action towards things, I wait on the moment and the moment never like happens because like I never take um, I never take the moment and I feel as though that that has cost me a lot of money it has cost me a lot of time and I am in a place to where I am changing that for myself and for my family so yeah here we are <laughs> making a difference right I understand but we're gonna go to the playground Come on. Three, two, let's go. Cut out the sass. Three year olds. <laughs> so, yeah, here we are. And honestly, guys, like this space is very, very uncomfortable for me. Like, I'm uncomfortable with a lot of stuff. And I feel like whenever, first of all, I feel like I have had to get used to being uncomfortable for a long time. It's like getting comfortable with being uncomfortable. But it's still uncomfortable, right? Because, um because I'm doing a lot of new things um, or I'm taking action on a lot of new things. Good job, baby. I'm listening. I'm listening. You are listening. Hey, hello. I went to the park. Ah! I got my shoes on. Then, 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 then. We're already go to a place to make McDonald's. And everything, we want to check the cheap. <laughs> and she's off. But yeah, guys, like, we're trying to hurry up and beat the storm because it looks like it's about to storm. Check out the trees. And the sky.
This is disgusting. Yes, y'all. That nasty thing up there is my Max Air fan. It's really bad. Um, it's been months. It's been like maybe three months since I changed it last or since I cleaned it. It's pretty nasty. And I don't really have an excuse for why besides, um, for one, just not feeling like it for two. Just kind of went through a little, you know, depressive state and just didn't feel like doing anything. So, yeah, um, now I am grabbing myself out of it. So now we're about to clean this thing, y'all. So I am putting down a towel. Oh my God. Ooh. Oh my God. Look at that. This is horrible. Don't show them. Don't show them. Don't. You said don't show them. No. You don't think I should show them our nasty fan? Don't say that. It is nasty, huh? No, but oh my god. I know. Something fell on me. Ugh. I might need to back up. I'm going to back up too. I'm not backing up because I'm staying right here. So I don't think it's going to fall on you. Huh? I don't think it's going to fall on you. I'm going to turn it over here. So it Here you go. Thanks, babe. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Oh, oh, I know it's gonna be okay. Oh my God, you spilled some money. Oh, but it's still nasty, pumpkin. Yeah, really nasty. So that's all I need on that. Because that's pretty disgusting. Oh my God. Uh, I'm going to go with my mom. Well, you better not be fighting with your brother, huh? Here's someone tried to, tried to get the bucket. Now, what's wrong with him getting the bucket? A pause. What's wrong with him getting the bucket, honey? Huh? What's he wrong? tried to grab the bucket because I need it for my... I tried to make some castle. Even even pancakes, actually, but I don't I don't know how to make a castle. I'm making a bacon can. The, I don't know. It's my teeth longer. Is my teeth lovely, Mom? Is my teeth lovely? Is it what? Is it wiggling? Is it wiggling? Yeah. Is my is my tooth wiggling? No. Is still on there? <laughs> yeah. Is it a screw in there? No, it ain't no screw. No, it's is it a screw in my teeth? And stop my teeth. Those are gums in my teeth. Gums in your mouth. Gums in my mouth? Where? The pink thing. It's all that like gums right here. Uh, go up a little bit. They're what your teeth is attached to. Like this? Like that? Yeah, whenever you look that up, you can kind of see them. See your gums. Yeah. 
So wrapping up this video, I wanted to show you guys how I ultimately decided to um, get out of my perfectionism and I decided to climb a tree. <laughs> this tree, if you look at my last video that I posted, this tree fell on my brother's van and I thought it would be a great opportunity to make a negative a positive and tune into my inner child. I haven't climbed a tree since I was a little girl. And honestly, I had so many doubts, you know, um, coming up. So many things was like, man, you ain't getting up there. So many things was keeping me, so many thoughts was keeping me from, um, from actually climbing this tree. But um, I did it. And I got up here and I had a moment. I had a moment of reflection. I was super proud of myself for doing something that was ultimately in my head to do. But I actually took action this time and I did it. And from now on, I'm going to do things. I'm going to actually take action and do things. So me climbing this tree, me first having a thought of climbing a tree and actually climbing a tree was the simple step in the right direction. We sometimes think that we have to take a grand step, you know, but we forget that baby steps are mega steps, right? You know, when a child begins to walk, we are super, super thrilled for that child being able to get up and walk. So, you know, even though this was a baby step for me, I'm super proud of myself for actually taking action. And um, I advise anybody, anybody that has a goal or a mission, you know, get up and just take that baby step, right? And be proud that you took that baby step. Sometimes baby steps can even be just getting up, you know, getting up, getting dressed, right? It doesn't have to be something so grand, you know, sometimes baby steps, if you want to work on your diet, you know, baby steps can be instead of trying to work on your diet for the whole day, it can be working on your breakfast, working on your lunch, working on your dinner, you know, taking action is the key. Peace, guys.